What's up guys? Today is the Monkey's Rifle Review. Let's go ahead and get it equipped. Chinese New Year 2016 Trial 2. This gun looks awesome. It's got a little monkey perched on the barrel though. A little golden monkey. I love the skin on the weapon. It's a really good looking weapon in my opinion. I really, really like it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. It looks very similar, right? It looks just like the Little Italy, but with improved statistics. So I like this gun way better than the Little Italy. It's a very balanced weapon, not overpowered at all. Let's get into a gameplay. We're going to get into Sandtown here, one of my favorite maps of all time. Don't know if I've said that before. Love Sandtown and Headquarters. Those are probably my favorite maps for just like closed, uh, you know, submachine gun, just close battles like this. I love close battles. And then for like Roman Gardens for like the sniper battles. So we're here in Sandtown showing off the gun. Now the nice thing is this year's event, this is tier 5 prize. You don't even have to complete but half the event and you get this. And the first half of the event is always way easier than the second half of the event. So really, really easy to get the gun and so everybody should have it. In fact, my dream would be for all of us to get into the same match and only use this weapon because it's really balanced. I think that would separate the skilled players from the pay to win players because like I said the guns balanced you got to have some skill with it you got to have some strafing ability in order to get those kills it really really reminds me of the stig guys watch this as I come up this ramp here I'm going to drop down on this guy boom that was awesome right on his big old fat head there the gun really reminds me of the stig a lot I, I give the edge to the stig slightly I think the stig's more powerful than this but a lot of people complain because they didn't get the stig well this is your chance the other thing I like about this year's event is all the weapons are free, which is really cool of Digital Legends to do that. You know, we've seen some events where they had some new weapons come in, but you had to pay for those weapons. This year, all the weapons are free and winnable in the event, and the event's not that hard. It's easy. If you put in the time, it, the event is easy. Now, if you've been paying attention to the gameplay in the background, not sure if you've noticed or not, I have not died yet. At this point in the match, I started to get kind of excited, like maybe I can get a YOLO, maybe I can get... A match where I don't die. About two minutes left in the match. I can't remember if I came in on time or late in the match. but So go ahead and make your guesses now in the comments. Will I get a YOLO? Will I get a match where I don't die once? Alright, here we go. We're getting a little migrating host. So again, let me know in the comments what you think of this weapon. Is this a weapon that you're going to see yourself playing with when the event is not going on? Or is this a weapon that you're just going to play with a little bit and never use it again? I think this is one that I'm going to add into my rotation. I probably would put this in my top 10 weapons, actually. I like it that much. It's it's fun. There's something about these types of weapon, the Stig and this weapon here. The, what is this, Monkey Rifle? The Monkey Rifle and the Stig. I just like this style of gameplay. I'm an assaulter um, in all the first-person and third-person shooters. Everybody kind of knows me as the sniper guy. But really, guys, when it comes down to it, if I just want to own, I'm an assaulter. I like these types of weapons. And this gun's perfect at medium range you know responsible has a lot of close range weapons that wrecks uh, a lot of shotguns and other weapons that wreck at close range this is a perfect mid range weapon not long range but mid range and that's why my two favorite maps like i said in the beginning were sandtown and headquarters which by the way both those maps are original maps the original four those are two of my favorite maps because of how fast paced it is how close range it is i love those types of games all right we're at about a minute left will i get my yolo my health is down my health is down oh crappy crap got hit by this little monkey whacker sticky staffy thing that video reviewing that weapon will be up tomorrow i promise if not oh uh, no let's just go with tomorrow i was gonna say if not the same day that video will be up tomorrow i promise and little preview it is unlike any weapon you have ever seen in the game very unique Okay, one thing I try to do in these reviews, guys, whenever I review a weapon or an event or something, I always play multiplayer one because I want to give a realistic viewpoint of what it's like going up against real people. And uh, yeah, I just want to kind of show you guys how it looks and feels against real players. Also, you know, I do try hard in these matches and try hard. I mean, I'm trying my best. I'm really going hard because I want the gameplay to be good. I know a lot of people look at these videos and they see movement, they see how I shoot, they see things, and you know, they can learn from that. I know for me, when I watch other people play other games who are good, I learn from that, and hopefully you learn something from me and I can give a little bit back to the Respondables community. Thanks guys for everything, thanks for sticking with me, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's review.